What's up guys, Rampage here again bringing you today's question of the day. So for today's question, I'm going to be asking you guys, what is your favorite dragon type move? Now for me, I like two. Draco Meteor and Dragon Dance. Draco Meteor is a special attack, it hits really hard. I believe it's the second strongest dragon attack followed by Roar of Time and Dragon Dance. I really like that just because it, you get that plus one attack and speed so that's really nice but I'm gonna have to say my favorite dragon move if it's between those two my favorite dragon move is dragon dance just because I do like the uh, plus one attack and speed boost you get and dragon dance on Salamence is pretty threatening was threatening on pretty much all the pokes that get it probably except Lapras but yeah so anyway leave your answers in the comments below and let's get started with the battle now look at how much this battle is sped up already. That pretty much tells you that this is going to be a long ass battle. Anyway, what's up guys? Rampage here again bringing you another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. Here we got a pretty good battle against someone who goes by the name of Mr. Little Battler. He challenged me on Skype. I accept it. And yeah, like I said, this is actually a really long battle. It's my longest black and white 2 battle as of yet. I'm like, it's only 41 turns, but only 41 that's still a lot but it's 41 turns but the freaking recording without it being sped up was 30 minutes and that's like unbelievable so I sped this thing up by 300 percent which I usually speed up my videos by 165 because when I usually speed it up by 165 percent it usually ends up being around somewhere from 8 to 10 minutes well it really all depends on how long the battle is like for instance this one is 30 minutes so I had to speed up by 300 percent just to get it to a 10 minute video so yeah that was me rambling first few turns so let me try and recap what just happened the first few turns I'm gonna lead off with my polytoad my opponent's gonna lead off with a jellicent I'm gonna go for the toxic first turn then he taunts me and then I'm gonna switch out to my jirachi because I do want to get my stealth rocks up so that's what happens and he's actually gonna go for the scald next turn I get my rocks up and now he's gonna switch out as I go for the iron head I think that's what happened oh and, and he taunted my jirachi if I forgot that and so I'm gonna go and tr I'm gonna try and go for the iron head on his Jellicent just just to try and flinch him, but he's gonna switch out into his Heatran. Pretty sure he's gonna try and get his rocks up now, so I'm just gonna go out into my freaking old man, my Thunderous, and old man Thunderous does not play around. He's I'm gonna go for a Thunder, and this Thunder is gonna do a crap ton to a resisted Pokemon that has pretty significant special defense, and that did that did a nice chunk, and I'm I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to go for the Hidden Power Ice just to see how much that'll do, and I think I don't want to want anything else to sleep, so I'm just going to stay and go for the HP Ice. But he actually stays and goes for the HP Ice of his own. That thing doesn't have the best special attack, so it's not going to be able to do that much. Like, it did a nice chunk, but it's not going to be doing enough for him. So now I'm going to just go for the Thunder again. It's pretty. I'm pretty sure he was going to switch out, and he went out into his Heatran, so that was pretty good. And now I'm just going to go for the Thunder again, take out the Heatran, so I don't have to worry about that. And Heatran probably wouldn't have done too much anyway because I'm using a rain team and Heatran in the rain isn't that good. But anyway, he's going to go to his Conkledor now and he's going to go for the Mach Punch. Unfortunately, he doesn't take me out. Well, it's unfortunate for him. Fortunate for me. And I'm just going to go for the Thunder and take out that Conkeldor. I mean, Rupushin. So now I'm going to go out into my Landers just because I figure I could U-turn on anything because I think this is my Scarf one. And then he's going to um, switch out into this thing, and that's not good because he gets his regenerator. So I'm just going to go for the U-turn. Does a hefty chunk to this thing. Now I'm going to go out into my Jirachi uh, as, he, uh, as he decides to put something to sleep. And I just thought that Jirachi pretty much was the best thing to put to sleep now, considering the circumstances and the guys he had left on his team. So now I'm going to go out into my, um, whatever this thing is called, my... Foratress, I knew that, I was about to say Feral Thorn. As he goes out into his Jellicent, which is bad because this thing can just taunt me. So I believe I'm going to switch out. No, he actually doesn't go for the taunt, which is weird. He's going to go for the Scald. I go for the Earthquake predicting the taunt because it's pretty obvious to me. At least that's what I thought he was going to do because why wouldn't you taunt a, fer a Foratress? Oh my gosh, it's not a Feral Thorn. Anyway, I'm going to switch out into my Horny now, my whatever this thing is called, my the, the Keldeo. Why do I keep doing that? I sound like a scrub, not knowing whatever these Pokemon's names are. Anyway, the Toxic is doing a lot to him, and I believe I have HP Electric on this Caldeo, so I was just hoping to try and take him out with the HP Electric. But I'm going to go back out in the Politoed. I forget why I did that. I I'm, I'm not sure. I probably should have just went for the HP Electric to take him out. But anyway, he's going to go for the Toxic on my Switch back in the Politoed, and I'm like, I'm still trying to figure out why I didn't go for the HP Electric. Weird. 
But anyway, um, I'm just going to go for the Ice Beam in case he wanted to switch out into his Amoongus. And he's actually going to go for the Recover. And I'm like, well, I don't really care too much because your Jellicent is still taking a lot from Toxic. I'm like, I'm taking Toxic damage now too. So, I, And, oh yeah, I went for the Ice Beam, obviously because he might have Water Absorbed. So, there's no reason to go for Scald there. But, I'm just going to keep hitting this thing down with Ice Beam. I'm not sure if he has Cursed Body or Scald. And seeing as though I never got anything Cursed Body yet, I'm figuring he has Water Absorbed. Did I say Cursed Body or Scald? I'm not sure. I, I'm, I'm sounding like a scrub. I've been up for like an hour so far, but that's no excuse. Anyway, he's going to go out into his this guy now. And this was a stupid play on my part. I stay in Ice Beam. I, I knew I couldn't take this thing out. And that's why it was stupid, because I knew he would have Giga Drain and he would get a lot of HP back. Well, he didn't get that much, but he got HP back, which, is, which made it a bad play on my part. And then I'm going to die to Toxic, so... That was pretty stupid on my part. I don't... Yeah. I, I was just dumb. I could have easily went out into my fourth... Ferret! Oh my gosh. My Foratress. I was about to say fourth, fourth Thorn and Feratress, but that's not what it is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Anyway, he's going to bring out his Hydreigon. Don't want to take a Fire Blast with my Foratress. I had to, like, slow up every time I say that now. And he's actually going to go for the Flamethrower, and that's like, okay, Jirachi can take a few of those... That's going to go for the Earth Power. I can't take those as well as Flamethrowers, so I'm just hoping to wake up. And I really don't have anything else I can go out into on this thing, because I don't want to take a Draco. So I'm just going to stay in, let my Jirachi die, and then I can get a safe switch out into my Keldeo. But I still can't really hit his Amoongus Heart with my Keldeo, though. I'm just hoping that after it comes in from the Spikes and Stealth Rocks, that Surf will probably be a 2 at KO. That's what I'm hoping, because I'm not trying to set up any Calm Minds yet. So I'm actually going to go out into my Keldeo now, and he's going to go for the Flamethrower. That shouldn't be doing too much after the special attack drops and resistance and rain, so yeah. And now he's going to bring out his, this guy. I probably should have went for a Calm Mind, though, because then Giga Drains wouldn't have been doing that much to me. And my Jirachi is still asleep, so he couldn't have slept this thing. Anyway, I'm going to go for the Secret Sword, and I believe I'm going to go for the Surf. Nope, I, sw I switch out. I probably should have went for the Surf, though. Uh, bad play on my part. Well, I don't know if it was a bad play, but it probably wasn't the best. I'm, I could have been able, to, I should have been able to live with Giga Drain, but he might have gotten way too much HP back from Giga Drain, so maybe it wasn't a bad play. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm going to go out in the Fortress. He's just going to try and Giga Drain this. I believe I just want to get up the rest of my spikes. So that's exactly what I'm going to do because my best way of stopping this thing's regenerator ability is to get up my spikes because it's going to be taking a lot. Uh, damage from the hazards when coming in. Now he's going to go for the HP Ice figure and that will do more than Giga Drain. It doesn't. Well, actually I don't know if it does or not because they're both doing minimal minimal damage to the point where I'm not even um, what's that word I'm looking for? Observing, I guess. Anyway, I'm just going to go for the Earthquake now. I want to start getting damage on this thing. And he's just still going to try and hit me down pretty low. Which is fine. He's going to go for the Giga Drain again and Pretty much, Fortress is the only thing on my team I have to wall this thing. I'm just, I just want to get this thing's damage down so low that my Keldeo can definitely take it out with a Surf. Because I have nothing for this thing. I have nothing for this thing, which is a problem. And now he has his Landorus, and my only freaking attacking move on his Fortress would happen to be freaking Earthquake. So, this definitely is not good for me at all. He's, I'm going to switch out into my... What's this guy called? My Jirachi. And he's going to go for the Rock Polish. And I'm like, oh crap, I'm swept. I'm swept. I have nothing to wall this thing. And if he has a Life Orb with all that attack, oh yeah, I'm swept. That's what I was pretty much thinking when I was battling this. So I'm going to go out into my Keldeo. I'm pretty sure I can't take an Earthquake, but I'm going to just try. And then hit him back with a Surf. And I am able to take it, which is lucky. So I'm just going to hit him with a Surf now. Take out the Landorus. And I'm like, I can't believe I lived that Earthquake. Do you not know how much attack Landorus has? But anyway, he's going to bring out his, this guy, this Amoongus, and it's pretty much over for me because I can't do anything to this. I'm just going to go out into my, this guy, what's this guy called? Fortress, not Ferrothorn, Fortress. And I'm just going to try and hit this thing down pretty low with a couple of Earthquakes. So I think that's the game plan right here. Well, no, what am I doing? Why did I switch out? I have no idea why I just switched out in that case. In that, in that case, no. Because now he's just going to... Okay, I, th I knew he was going to put something to sleep. Okay, I remember now. I knew he was going to put something to sleep, and I switched out into my... That guy, my Landorus, because I knew that Fortress would probably be more beneficial to have a weight than Landorus. 
Even though now it's probably stupid because I could have used Landers to take out, or not even take out, but to do a lot of damage to this thing. Yeah, that was real stupid. If his last two guys are Hydreigon and this Amoongus, I could have just let this guy go to sleep. Bring out, like, my... But then, yeah, I could have just let that guy go to sleep. Bring out Landorus, go for the Earthquake after he takes him out. Then bring out Keldeo and should take him out with a Surf. But that was dumb, and now Keldeo is pretty much my last guy. Well, that and Landorus, which is Sleep. And he has HP Ice, so that's pretty much the game. He's going to be able to take me out with the HP Ice. And like I said, that's the game. So, bad plays on my part, but it was still a fun battle. It was a really good battle. I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well, even though I sound like a complete scrub. Sped up all these, sped up all this stuff, and yeah, I'm just stupid. But anyway, real fun battle, and yeah, so I will see you guys in the near future. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Rampage here, signing out. Goodbye.